Welcome to my channel Silver Star. Today we are going to learn about the great explorer Vasco da Gama. What did Vasco da Gama discover? How was his sea route different from other navigators? We'll find out everything, so grab some popcorn and get ready to see Vasco da Gama fearlessly ruled over the sea. Vasco da Gama was born in circa 1460 in science Portugal. His devout da Gama and Isabel Sondre learned mathematics and navigation from Abraham Zacuto. Background Why was Portugal interested in finding a sea route to India? Silk Road was no more easily accessible after the fall of Constantinople to Ottoman troops. This is a picture of Sultan Mehmed II, who conquered Constantinople at the age of 21. The Ottoman Turks charged duties and taxes on goods bound westward. This Ottoman monopoly made Europeans abandon the land route. Bartholomew Reyes's voyage had proved that the Atlantic Ocean and Indian Ocean were connected. In 1497, Da Gama set out with four ships Gabriel, Sao Rafael, and Miguel. Storage ship in the Emperors patronized Vasco da Gama's voyages were King John II, Emmanuel I, King John III. Following the currents of Gulf of Guinea, Da Gama undertook a long detour for South Atlanta before attempting to round the Cape of Good Hope. Second March, the fleet reached the island of Mozambique. On 7th April, they reached Mombasa. On 14th April, they reached Malindi. In July 1497, Da Gama started his epic journey with four ships and crew of 170 men. Da Gama reached Mozambique to meet a population of doubts about the identity of the crew. They all pretended to be Muslims. The king of Mozambique wasn't impressed with Da Gama and forced him to leave. The king offered him help to discover India, Bin Majid and Vasco da Gama. The Indian Ocean was choppy and sailing in that weather was impossible. Bin Majid had the knowledge, expertise and experience of the tropical currents. The knowledge helped da Gama to reach the western coast of India successfully. On 20th May 1498, Vasco da Gama made history. He was the first European to reach India, which benefited many European countries in future. The Kingdom of Portugal actually started prospering after Vasco da Gama's occupation. Gama's voyage was a turning point in history. The Indo Arab trade was going to be challenged by da Gama. Da Gama was not going to let the Arabs dominate the Indian Ocean. It's a panoramic view of the country. India's Maramar coast was at the center of spice trade. It was the main outlet of Kerala's large cocoa crop and a place where ships from Indonesian spice islands came to trade flows with Arab merchants in the Red Sea and Persian Gulf. In the Middle Ages, Kozi Kode was dumped as a city of spices for its role as major trading point of Asian spices. Kozi Kode, despite being a geographically inconvenient spot, had much of its prosperity to economic policies of some theories of Kozi Kode. The Gama and his men received one courtesy audience from Zamur. They were pretty impressed with the opulence of his crew. They were informed of the local custom of furnishing presents. Gama produced pieces of cloth, scarlet hoods, hats, strings of flowers, sugar, oil, and honey. Arrows <laughs> burst out la laughing, pointing out that the 
numerous Arab merchant knew that nothing less than pure gold was admissible. Now, not trying to make up for the embarrassment by projecting himself as an ambassador and not a mere merchant, Zamorin's aides were not convinced. Quickly realized nobody really wanted their local. Nama decided to leave for Portugal. It was a terrible voyage back to Malindi. Mama's feet was in a terrible. The kindness of Sultan Amanda saved the rest of also offered them some fresh meat to recover from scurvy. Second voyage. Second voyage involving 20 ships and thousands of men immediately dispatched and reached Calicut in under six months. Launched the Muslim cargo vessels and killed nearly 600 of them and sent light to houses in Calicut. Gama had begun a terror attack against the Muslim ship in Off Malabar. They wanted to get rid of the Muslim explorers. This time he was prepared for an encounter with the Muslims and he had brought 20 warships with him. Plundered and burned down a ship coming from Mecca. Gama wanted the Hindu king to expel all the Muslims from Calicut for beginning negotiations. The Portuguese initially entered into hostile conflict with some theories of Kozikode and the Middle Eastern Pardesi merchants in Kozikode. Portuguese had this time bought lavish gifts for the Hindu king. King Zamorin agreed to sign a new treaty, but he wasn't happy with some of the terms. The Gama insisted that the Arabs should be expelled at Calicut Mastreet only with the Portuguese. The Gama terrorized the entire region, and Zamorin had to accept the terms. Vasco da Gama, after successfully negotiating with Zamorin, which met with him spices like cinnamon. Luxurious items like gold, fine cloth in the form of silk. Ending a mask in Togama in Kozigiri in 1498 has often been considered as the beginning of a new phase in Asian history during which control of the Indian Ocean passed into the hands of Europeans and Middle Eastern Muslims. A strong colony of foreign merchants set in Kozi Kodi was hostile. Some Uthiris welcomed the Portuguese and allowed them to take spices on board. In Portugal, goods bought by the Gama from India were computed at 60 times the cost of the entire Asian expenditure. Esquizu de Alameda and Falfonso were followed by the Gama to India, who were instrumental in establishing the imperial colonies of Portuguese in Asia. In the mid 16th century, the Portuguese had managed to cut in right and trade between Kozi Kodi and the Middle East. In the end of century, Kozikuchi was dominant seaport of Helena, being so vast both Kanur and Kozikuchi. Gama's third voyage in 1524 was his last. At that time, the Portuguese had established forts and trade centers in Canada. The Portuguese were not used to the tropical climate. In 1524, King of Portugal sent him to India to replace the viceroy Eduardo de Menezes. He died on a journey from malaria. 